And I started to go to some talks in the city about the newest in energy efficient, sustainable design. And I just thought, hold on, that's what I learned at uni. And that's when I kind of started to realize, okay, my education was actually different to what most people learn here. And back then I was really lucky. My boss back then, he kind of loved everything German, everything efficient. And then he started to support me and to promote energy efficient, sustainable design. And we started to promote the German way of building. So, you know, how the Germans do it, which is quite different to here. And so, yeah, that's how it all started. And after that, I changed to a building design practice that was only doing energy efficient, sustainable design, which was amazing because I learned all the basics and principles about, you know, passive solar, how it works in Australia, which is a bit different to how it is on the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, and I really learned a lot about, you know, all the materials and products here. Then, yeah, 2014, I ventured out on my own. Back at that time, I was already quite interested in Passive House. It was just starting to become a thing in Australia that there weren't that many things just yet. And back then, before COVID, everything had to be done in person. And uh, the Passive House designer course is a two-week course where you actually have to be present for two weeks. So obviously, with little kids, that was not possible. But then finally, in 17, I did the course. And... Wow, it was a uh, mind boggling. I mean, I, I knew the basics before about Passive House and, you know, we, we're going to talk about it more uh, shortly. But from that time on, I just could not go back. It's it's almost like once you know, you can't unknow. Yeah. And I can't offer anything else or I can't do anything else. Yeah. From that moment, Passive House all the way. 